Hey there, what's going on and welcome to project 31 of 100 web project series. My name is Bessie Painda and this video revolves around creating a cool hover effect for images using only HTML and CSS. Alright, so this is what we're going to be building it throughout the entire series and if you like it, you may want to add this in your portfolio website. So basically, this is just a screenshot that's going to scroll down as we are hovering our mouse on that. All right, so let's get started. Here at the left side, I already have my coded data open, created the index.html and style.css, and there is also this project1.png. This is a screenshot that I took it using this go full page full page screen capture extension. You can install this extension and capture a full screenshot of any web page. All right, so back into index.html, I'm gonna create this simple HTML boilerplate. Let me zoom this out. And then I'm gonna link this to style.css. All right, and within the body, there's gonna be just simple image class. And within that, I'm gonna add an anchor with the class of button-visit. Whoops. And let's call this as visit. All right, and that's it. Then in style.css, as usual, um, then the after, I'm gonna set this box sizing to be border box. All right, and then for the body, I'm gonna set a font family. In this case, I'm gonna go with, uh, yeah, let's go with Apple system. And then down below here, I'm gonna display this as flex, then justify content to the center and align items to the center. Obviously, I need to specify this maximum height of 100 vertical height. Then back into here, I'm gonna run this in live server to see how's that gonna look like. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm gonna close this and style the CSS down below right here. We're gonna get that image. And I'm gonna specify a width of like, uh, let's go with 400 pixels and then a height of 300 pixels. Obviously, I'm gonna add a border like one pixel solid, triple C, something like that and obviously a border radius of 0.5 rim. All right, so that is it for now. I'm gonna just display none this button visit. Okay, and then in here, I'm gonna also add a background using this URL. I'm gonna get that project, come on. I'm gonna get this project1.png. All right, so that is it. And then also I'm gonna specify so that this is not repeated, so no repeat. And then here, background size is cover. All right. And maybe right here, I may want to extend this to 430 pixels. Yeah, that looks better. All right, so then in here, we need to add that hover effect. So that's basically simple. Image hover, we're gonna specify background position y to be 100 percent all right so this is the thing that does the magic of that scrolling okay and let's also not forget to add a transition as well for the background and let's make it three second is in and out all right so now if i hover on that there we go so we did it successfully and now all we need to do is to add this bar right here so it goes all the way up until here depending on how much this is scrolled down, okay? And then we need to show this overlay here and this button too. Okay, so back in here. And now I'm gonna also add a cursor of pointer like that. And then for the image, I'm gonna get its B4. I'm gonna add a content for now, just nothing in the position. This is absolute. From the top, set that to zero, lift is zero as well and a width of 100% and a height of four pixels. Let's also add a background for this. It's gonna be linear gradient to the right side. I'm gonna go with transparent. Okay, let's just go with white. And in here, I'm gonna go with uh, this kind of color. Okay, so that's blackish color. And then down below, right here, I'm gonna say image when I hover on that, I'm gonna get the B4 and add a width of 100%. All right, so 
right now I, I'm seeing that that bar is appearing right here and that's because I didn't add this position relative right here so now this should be fixed all right and you can notice that overflow as well in here so obviously you just need to set that overflow to head in and there we go we are all set and then we just need to specify this to be zero percent and now when I hover on that whoops uh, let's say transition all three second is in and out all right so just make sure that the transition duration should be identical for both this image and this image before all right so both are three seconds if you change this to two second you should change this to two seconds as well okay so i'm gonna hover back on that there we go and now we also need to add that uh, linear gradient overlay as well right at the bottom so that way it's going to be image and then the after it's got a content nothing like that in position this is absolute from the bottom set this to zero lift is also zero and i'm gonna add a background of linear gradient to the bottom starting from a transparent color all the way to a darkish color like this all right i also need to bump up its width and height as well so they are both 100 percent hmm. so i don't like this actually i want the transparent to be at 70 percent up until 70 percent so now that looks beta also let's make this a little bit transparent transparent so there we go all right so i think this looks a little bit beta and then whenever we are hovering on that we want to add this background okay so image hover get the after and finally now if i hover on that there we go done and finally the last step is this button visit that again i'm gonna position this as absolute all right and then from the bottom set this to be like negative to a rim okay uh, let's also answer this okay so we can see that there we go and then from the left side let's say this to be 50 percent transform and then translate x this one to a negative 50 percent there we go we want to get rid of that text decoration as well and add a background color for this let's go with this one and set a color of pure white save it there we go let's add a padding of like 0.5 rim and one rim or maybe you may want to boost this to one rim and add a border radius of 0.5 rim like that all right so there we go now from the bottom you can see it's negative three rim and then i'm gonna also add a transition for the bottom so it's like let's say one second is in and out all right and then down below here when i hover on this image we want to get that button visit and from the bottom set this to be like two rim good so now if i hover on this you'll notice that it's slow slowly slowly shows up toward the top all right and the final step is that also we need to specify a z index greater than this one here okay so z index of this let's say that's five and for z index of this one i'm going to specify 10 all right so that this button appears on top of that background there we go all right and now the final step is that we need to go back here and set this back to overflow heading cool so now if i hover on that all right so that is it for this video everyone i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification for more such videos like this and i will see you guys in the next one